We're different because we've got skin in the game. Um, I'm a major investor along with Harry in the majority of these syndicates. Um, we take co-investors in with us to enjoy the experience and to make money. Um, but we're in there as an owner, like the co-investors. We see our investors as being co-owners of properties, not just part of um, a wider syndicate. I do feel as a co-investor um, with the principals at QE, um, I do believe they treat the investor's money as their own money and it's one in the same and um, we both rise or fall on the success of the project. Firstly, the property has to be structurally sound. Um, it's not a matter of financial engineering of numbers. I'm a civil engineer by profession um, and that's allowed me to look at property from a ground up approach. I look at a building, um, not for its cash flow first, I, I look at the structural fabric of the building, I look at the base building services, I look at the quality of the asset first. We will only then start to get deeply involved in a due diligence and doing the projections to see what that property can return to investors. They look for very unique value propositions, not mainstream, um, where they can offer the value add and where they can do something different with the project. Investors can invest through their super fund and in fact um, the majority of our investors monies to date have been through super funds. I've only had the utmost confidence in what they've had to say and their subsequent ability to deliver um, on everything they've said. We want them to be able to maintain that feeling that they actually own part of the property. They've been in immediate contact and whether I'm local or overseas um, I just feel that I've got as up-to-date information as if I was a direct owner. Our staff are one of our most important assets. Um, we have a small staff but a high performing staff. What attracted me to QE is Shane and Harry. Shane and Harry both have strong credentials, Harry in accounting, Shane in engineering, but it was more than that. It was is how they do business. It's how they treat people. It's the values that they have. I'm responsible for managing the assets once we've acquired them. So once we acquire the property, I take responsibility for it and roll out the implementation of our value add strategy. The real key to our success is improving the base building services. When you improve the base building services, you increase your neighbour's rating, which is the reduction of the carbon footprint. But by improving the neighbours rating, that puts us in the bracket of being able to get state government, federal government, blue chip tenants and meet their green lease requirements. We create workspaces that are pleasant to be in. Um, we're very proactive with our tenants. We communicate, we collaborate. And if we've got happy tenants, or clients as we call them, um, they will stay. And that's so important to our business. If we haven't got a tenant or a client, as we call them, keen to stay in our buildings, we haven't got a business. What we've got now is, is uh, it's, like I said, it's, it's a dream come true for this business. And uh, it's not just us, it's the industry, it's our clients, um, it's, uh, it's the community. Even the future generations will benefit from this. Because we're talking about, you know, it's one of the most sustainable, uh, environmentally friendly uh, asphalt manufacturing plant nationally. So we've got a large scale network of agents and consultants that we can tap into to deliver these results. I think that was one of the attractions for us is uh, QE's contacts there because like I said, putting a design team, getting a development manager together, even the builder. So we, we tapped into that, that expertise where uh, we want um, someone else to put the effort and, and get it right and get a, get a pool of uh, good people together. I would say 80% of our properties and, and going forward will be commercial office buildings in CBD locations. It's very important for us to maintain um, the CBD location because if the state government move out, an accountancy firm can move back in, um, a, a blue chip Telstra type tenant can move back in, we are not in specialised markets in suburban areas that uh, limit our tenant pool. QE uh, is a small business. Uh, it's run by two principals who are professional in the field. I have a relationship with Harry, so you know, in every investment I make, number one criteria is I need to like the people that I invest with. The investors are choosing us because we've got a very good track record and, and they can trust us. They know what we are about 
and they know that by us having skin in the game that all of our intentions are co-aligned to make money on these properties. You know, I wouldn't have time to do the research they do. Uh, I would not have the expertise to negotiate the contract they can negotiate. I would not have the expertise to manage the properties and have the relationship with the suppliers that will manage the property well to give the service level that the clients expect. Um, and all that come at a cost. I mean, there's a management fee that we pay to QE, but I think the management fee that we pay to QE far outstrips the cost of doing it on your own if it's not your core business. Well, we've got a good track record, and um, because we co-invest, they know that we're co-aligned in terms of where we want to go, in terms of making money for the project, um, and we wouldn't take a project uh, to the investors without knowing that it's a good project. The investment is structured in a way where the payback is uh, almost immediate. So it's not like you're putting money away and you have to wait for X number of years before you start getting your return. I'm very proud and, and probably even a better word for me is humbled by the fact that investors have the confidence and trust in Shane and I to give us their money and to look after their money and they trust us with their money. We wait until we find the right property. We don't race out there, we're patient and I think uh, you make more money by not buying the wrong property than buying a property. We've done one project with them. I think it's looking good so far and, uh, and certainly considering other projects when it, when it comes up for consideration. <laughs> and what does the colour orange mean? It's, it's supposed to be a very strong colour and orange, bright. It's a colour that um, is different. Oh, I think it's a good colour. I suppose they're a bit different and striking and I think it stands out and um, I think those three characteristics do represent what they're about.